going to tell you guys how it is. Stay tuned, Marrakesh. And honestly, I am a paranoid person. I don't know if any of you guys know, but I'm a crime addict. I love listening to crime. I love watching crime on YouTube, documentaries, you name it. So I'm very, like, high alert. Like, if I see the same person with, like, from two different, like around me sort of thing I keep saying like a lot so for example if someone walks around from the right side and I see them again on the left side it kind of indicates that they did a circle around me and that kind of gets me looking and if they look at me a few times I'm just like I'm sorry what so t yesterday um we queued up for the bank we didn't bring any like we had enough money but we just wanted to get more out and we saw the bank, we were like, okay, and then the ATM was on the outside, we were like, okay, no, and then we just left. Then when on our way back through the sock, we saw that the bank um, had a lot of foreigners. Um, so we thought, okay, then it might be safe to take money out, it's fine. Um, nothing could really happen, right? So we stood in the queue, and then a guy, a Moroccan guy wearing a chemise, was standing there with a phone in his ear. And I'm just gonna use this a remote. Okay, so he's just literally like, they're standing like this, like, talking and then directly, like, making eye contact. And I'm like, okay. And he's literally looking at us. And I'm thinking, okay, weird. Why is he looking? He's probably the guy that's going to say taxi. And I'm like, no, that's not what happened. So he's just on his phone. And I said to, I said to my sister-in-law, I'm like, hey, should we just, um, we'll just take it out from the ATM at the hotel because there's an ATM machine downstairs. But when we tried to use it, it was in French and Arabic, which you will find a lot, not, not a lot of things like in English. So we were like, okay, we just left. We started walking. So when you first enter the sauk, you'll see like a lot of carriages standing on the side, horse carriages. So we're walking basically towards that direction. And as I'm walking, I am, um, my sister was talking to me and I noticed that guy is walking behind us. And I'm like, hey, like the guy that was over there that I was a bit sussed about earlier is walking behind us. And then I kind of look to my um, right and I see a shorter guy with a checkered shirt. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then he's looking at this guy on the phone and they're both like looking at each other, like through us almost. And they're both walking. So we've got one on the left and one on the right. And I'm just like, like hey sis, <laughs> not to alert you anything, but um, I think we're being followed. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? <laughs> and I've been telling her, like, as we're walking, I'm just like, okay. And then it kind of, like, this continue following, continue following us. And then I got to, there was a guy selling Colleen Hoover books on the floor. And I was like, let's just stop and talk. But we started walking way, like, so fast that by the time we looked back, I think the checkered guy started walking away. And then the other guy started walking away. And then we were just like, let's just, because we had, like, another 20 minutes before the, like, the coach picked us up, so we were like, let's just, you know, talk, let's just waste some time before we get to the thingy. So that was that for yesterday. And uh, by the way, a guy was selling, it starts with us with 200 and something pages. And um, I tried to speak my little Arabic and the guy was like smiling. I'm like, why are you smiling? We both know that there's a lot missing from the book but anyway uh, i said to him i'll come back to him today he wasn't here today so that was that so second day aka today we got up went to the garden came back uh, and then we left again today afternoon <sighs> so we did we went we wanted to try like the juices we didn't really have much plan we wasn't going to shop or anything we just wanted to walk around for like a few hours like just two hours we went to see like there's this govern government basically regulated little place that has like set prices so you don't need to haggle i will show i mean i it's either i did post or i haven't i mean maybe this will be a separate video i'm not sure so we went there came back we got the juices we walked around a bit we came so in the sook, there's like, you know, snake charmers, monkey, you know, people that are holding monkeys and stuff. There's also like little circles of random things as well. 
so we were filming we were trying to like film or like take videos of a singing they were singing and like mus musical type thing and every time they see a foreigner, foreigner they kind of stop and try to like be like hey you you want to film you gotta pay and it's like there's 50 Americans surrounding you so don't ever pay so we just walked away and then I noticed when we were standing there there was a guy with a pink shirt and that guy with the pink shirt, when we walked away, he walked away too. And I was like, okay. So then we saw a guy on the, f like, obviously, he's sitting on the floor with a little, I don't know, little cushion maybe. And he had an egg in front of him. And then he had a cup of water. And then I was like, oh, this is interesting. So by then I was like, okay, let's kind of get closer. So we were looking. And then I'll, send, I'll put a video if I can, um, if I can get it from her. Because I wasn't filming at all. Because I was, again, paranoid. The pink shirt guy literally was not standing in the crowd because there was no crowd yet. Because we were, like, the first people to notice this guy. And then a bunch of boys came, guys came, and they're trying to make a circle. Then a guy with a chemise came and said, came to us directly and said, no filming. And then we were like, no, he said it, like, in French or something. I'm like, wait, what? And then he said, no filming. We're like, hey, yeah, okay, put the phone away. We're like, we're still going to watch because we need to know what the fish this is. And then it started getting weird. But then as I'm like weirded out by what's happening there and keeping an eye on the pink shirt, there's a guy with a football shirt that is middle-aged with a belly and jeans with like gray hair on that side. And he makes eye contact with me. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, hey, sis, again, there's a weird guy over there. <laughs> added to the pink shirt guy and then he kind of kind of doesn't like he makes it so obvious that he's watching us which is very creepy and he goes round and then i keep an eye on him and she's um filming and so i kind of follow him with my eye and he's still there and i'm like okay so these guys that were with the egg would try to do it's not, it looks like sihar i don't know it just was weird okay um uh, so we just left and then as we started walking pink by the way while she was filming pink guy winked at her were you filming when he winked no, I, didn't I don't know but he winked at her so again we should confirm this guy's also looking at us right so we're like okay no this is weirding that we're just weirding us out so we're just gonna leave so we started walking my guy with the bloody sh football shirt started like legit blatantly following us <laughs> <laughs> he said i'm not hiding why am i hiding the other two like from the yesterday were hiding this one was like i'm gonna follow you guys so as <laughs> walking he's like walking fast as well and i'm like remember yesterday colleen hoover guy yeah, yeah yeah he's standing over there but he wasn't earlier so i was like i'm hoping like oh my god he might be there also we also saw like shorter till m which is like the police of safety when we walking in at the beginning so we kind of like okay maybe them didn't it didn't hit me then it hit me after that by the way but i was like okay we're just gonna walk fast and then we also there's a tourist there's a marrakesh departure tour that we booked some excursions at, so i thought there's also that guy's shop so worst case scenario we don't make it over there best case scenario the guy gets caught so we turned and then this guy is literally on the other side like i'm like <laughs> we saw some black guys selling sunglasses um and we were like excuse me excuse me and then they were like french and i'm like this is gonna be the death of me this language french language subhanallah so yeah they didn't speak french but um they tried to help, and then I pointed at the guy, and I was like, this guy is following us. Tell him, stop. The guy is, when I tell you, across the railing from us, doing this, like, like, what is the problem? The guy that's following us, by the way. Um, the guy said, uh, I don't understand, and I pointed at him. I said, stop. He still didn't get it. He called his friend over, and then... Um, he came that the, the the guy with the sun sunglasses his friend came he said what, what do you speak i said to him do you speak english he was like yeah and then again we told him the same and then they said he started speaking arabic to another moroccan guy that was standing there also with his stand selling stuff and then the guy said the stalker was like let me 
these girls are basically acting up. Let me let me tell you guys what this is about. And then we just started walking. We walked off. And this is like a minute, like less than a minute walk to where the bus is meant to pick us up. And we have 10 minutes of anxiety. That was 10 minutes of anxiety. We just, I just kept looking back thinking, is this guy going to pop out of nowhere? And by the way, we were, where we were waiting was also where we booked the excursion. So the guy that booked the excursion, we could see him. So nothing, I knew that in the back of my mind, nothing would have happened. But still, the difference between women on our trip versus going with a man that never happened inshallah you know the next five days nothing happened like please <laughs> hopefully the video ends here so if you watch this far please comment like share and subscribe and be wary okay i know we want to be brave and like we don't need a man and we can go on our own i feel like if it's a group of girls like you guys will be fine as long as one of you guys is paranoid like me but um if you guys are not and you're just carefree Things can happen no matter where you are, so keep an eye out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum.